Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and what I have for you today, it's an official trailer uh, released by the fan pimps about the version 1.0 for uh, 7 days to die. I haven't watched the video yet, so I don't know what exactly they're talking about. <laughs> I hope it's not a pointless video where they're gonna talk about uh, the changes in version 1.0. They talked about this already, so we know what's going on, we know what uh, will happen. I've already covered all the changes that will happen with version 1.0. You can go and check the video that uh, you're gonna see in the corner. That one is about Alpha 22, but it's basically version 1.0. They just changed the name. I mean, I don't think they will talk about <laughs> the changes because it will be pointless. I hope this trailer, it's all about like maybe the background story of what happened in 7 Days to Die, or at least a glimpse to what the story might be. You know, the one that they will release next year hopefully by the end of the year obviously guys um i will put a link in the description below so you can go check the video on your own if you want guys if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and if you want to become members of my channel and support my channel even further more uh, just press the join button and uh, without further ado uh, let's watch the video okay So we know that uh, there was a nuclear uh, bomb <laughs> thrown in the city because um, we have like uh, papers, newspapers, you know, on the ground. And that's cool to see, like uh, <laughs> they show us <laughs> the explosion and everything, yeah? A lot of zombies here. Harvest random worlds. Is it me or the graphic looks a little bit better? I get so scared on blood moons. I wish someone could stay the night. All right, so uh, let's talk about uh, what I was expecting here. Uh, honestly, I was expecting a little bit more. I thought there, there was be a little bit some story or, <laughs> you know, a background story or about the story that we'll, we will have eventually. I don't know when they will introduce that story. They say uh, end of the year, but honestly, knowing the fan pimps, it might take longer than that. Uh, the game looks okay. I saw uh, they changed like the, the design of the zombies. They don't all look uh, the same. They have different clothes and colors or something like that. They kind of presented a little bit the sets that uh, they will introduce with version 1.0, which is nice. Uh, we still don't have any idea about the bandits. Uh, probably the third quarter of 2025, if I'm not mistaken, that's when they uh, intend to release the bandits and the story at the end of the year of the 2025. Uh, yeah, I think uh, <laughs> this was a waste of, of time, honestly, with this trailer. I mean, we, all, we already know what's the game about. Like even the people who never played the game, they still <laughs> no, what's, a, what's the game it's about, but it's okay. Was this uh, trailer worth the, uh, their time and money and investment? Maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, 
uh, that's not for me to decide again i was hoping for more i already made a video where uh, i'm complaining about the price that uh, they will uh, have for the game with the release of version 1.0 a lot of you guys uh, actually agreed with me but some people they didn't agree that's okay you know we all have uh, our opinion i still think that 45 dollars for the game in this version the way it is and the way it will be released for uh, version 1.0 is still not worth 45 dollars I stand by my uh, decision. Once they release the bandits and the story and everything, then yes. <laughs> Put it even $70, I don't care. But the game is not finished. And charging people $45, I still don't think it's a... Uh it's good you know and uh, some people they were like uh, why why do you care like why uh, it's not your problem if they're not gonna charge you well it doesn't matter if uh, they're gonna charge me or not extra even though i have the game already it's about you know charging new players and we need to for example i have to uh, convince other people to come and play this game right because i'm part of the community i like to play this game i love this game i'm not don't get me wrong you know i like all the changes they made in this game but how can i go and tell someone to come and play this game and pay 45 dollars if the game is not even finished and there's still a lot a lot of this game that we are missing that we need you know <laughs> it's kind of pointless for me you know that's why i'm complaining because i'm trying to convince other people to come and play eventually i'm not going to be able to do that because i'm not going to tell someone to come and pay 45 dollars for a game that is not finished right so yeah i'm gonna i'm standing by uh for my decision uh that this game will be too expensive when it will be released with version 1.0 but anyone has the, their own opinion uh everyone is free to to say what they think i don't care i don't mind to be honest uh, I think this trailer is not really worth <laughs> their time and money. It's cool, you know, you can, uh, for new players, especially if they will come uh, for uh, after the release of version 1.0, maybe it will be nice to see what uh, they will get with this game. But again, I was expecting a little bit more than just what the game is about, right? I was expecting something like a, an Easter egg or I don't know, something there. We only had the nuclear explosion. We already know that... Uh, part of the world was destroyed by nuclear explosions and other than that we didn't get much uh, about the story or anything like that anyway so yeah that's it for uh, for today hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and again if you want to become members of my channel and support my channel furthermore just press the join button and i'll see you in the next one bye